Good morning, everybody, from beautiful South Carolina. We're on the way home today, but we decided to spend a couple hours walking around in this beautiful habitat. This part of the state is home to a lot of really cool stuff. We're in the Piedmont today, which I have not spent much time in here in South Carolina. And I'm looking forward to seeing if we can turn anything up today. I know this habitat is awesome looking, and there should be some cool snakes here. So this is pretty crazy. I spotted a snake skeleton down in there, and I pulled it out to look at it. It turns out it's actually a pygmy rattlesnake. You can't see too much of the snake itself, but you can see that head right there. That's enough to tell that that is in fact a pygmy rattlesnake. So we're going to hit this area hard today and hopefully we'll be able to find a live one. But that is really encouraging and also disappointing at the same time. This place is absolutely loaded with food for pygmy rattlesnakes too. So many lizards out chilling right now of several different species. But here we have a nice green anole who is not green at the moment. Finally, a snake. Look at that. Nice little corn snake. That's as found. All right. Well, that's a decent start to the day. Hopefully we'll find some more stuff, but it's about two o'clock in the afternoon now, but the time did just change. So we've got a decent amount of time left to work with. So I'll put this guy back and we'll get back to hiking. There you go, buddy. Well, it's warm enough that these guys are actually turning green. So Hopefully that means there will be snakes to come. That's the biggest anole I've ever seen. Look at the size of this guy. He is so big. All right, everyone. Well, it's getting pretty late in the day and uh, the wind's starting to pick up. We've got a gnarly cold front coming in tonight. It's supposed to freeze in mid-March, even like well into the coastal plain in South Georgia, which is really wild, but I'm sure the snakes will come right back up like nothing happened. But we might be taking a couple days off after this trip. So that being said, we're going to start back to the car and begin the drive home. If we see anything else, I'll definitely let you guys know. But I'd be kind of surprised since, you know, we've been here for like seven hours now and have seen one snake. Well, it's certainly been a while. Um, we had a very long stretch of very unseasonably cold weather. And I'm finally getting out again today. It's been several days since I've even made a concentrated effort at herping because it's just been so cold. And I'm talking like overnights in the mid 20s and highs in the 40s. Like we always get some sort of cold freezing weather in March, but this week has just been ridiculous. It's finally decently nice out today though, so I'm gonna try to take advantage of it. Well, a random barrel in the woods has produced our first two herps of the day, two little syringera. These guys, of course, have been everywhere lately, as always. The spot is not actually a place that I have herped in the spring yet. I scouted it out over the winter. And hopefully today the main goal is to just get some kind of idea as to what kind of snakes we can get into here. A worm snake. <sighs> nice. That's a pretty one. Super clean. Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't pretty excited to see some kind of snake today after that cold snap. And uh, I'm happy that we have nothing but warm days in the forecast now. So I also thought it was worth mentioning because I haven't talked about it at all this year. I can tell this is a Midwestern worm snake and not an Eastern because there's scales on the front of the nose, not the very front ones, but the ones second to the front. Those are called the prefrontal scales. And on eastern worm snakes, that scale is split. On midwesterns like this guy, it's fused. A race runner. Look at that. That's kind of neat. This guy is evidently just hunkered down under here waiting for this cooler weather to pass. So I'm going to cover him back up. Oh my goodness, so many snakes. Look at that. There were four tantilla under this rock. Well, that was a kind of weird flip, um, mostly because we haven't seen any tantilla today. And then suddenly under that one rock, we have an adult. And uh, if I can get them in a way that I can show them, three of last year's babies. What a weird flip, four of these guys together. All right, Tantilla bomb. There you go. Oh, 
What is that? A ring neck. It's actually been so long since I flipped a ring neck, I didn't even know what I was looking at at first. I'm kind of surprised it took us this long to see one today. But uh, we'll just let him go. A little, a little worm snake. Look at that guy. I don't know if it's finally warming up or if we're just now getting into some better habitat, but definitely more snakes in this little area. We've seen more in the last 10 minutes than we have all day so far. Let him go back under there. Not that it ever really got hot today, but some clouds rolled in and made it feel just a little bit more comfortable to be out here doing strenuous physical activity. And it's better lighting if we find something too. Worm snake. Yet again, these might be our most common snake of the day. I think we've seen four or five. And if it weren't for that one Tantilla rock, they definitely would be. Oh, an earth snake. He came tumbling out of the rock. I didn't even see him when I first flipped it. Another species for the day. Well, he took a dump in my hand, but there you go. First smooth earth snake of the day, right next to his beautiful little turd he gave me. You're too kind. All right, back into the leaf litter, along with your turd. All right, my GoPro's almost dead, so I'm saving battery until I get to a hillside with more rocks to flip, but I just double flipped two big ring necks. One of these is almost as big as the biggest ones I've ever seen in this part of the state. But both in shed, under this little rock, right next to this giant hole in the ground. Look at that. But I'll just put these guys back and try to find some better habitat that I can put the GoPro on for. Well, here's the first Tantilla we flipped since we had four under one rock. Nice looking adult. That's a really pretty snake. See, he's freshly shed. We're definitely gonna be pushing it getting out of here before the sun sets on us, but there's some really nice looking habitat up there. Ooh, only got one foot wet. So check this out. I'm on my way back to the car and I came across this gigantic series of vernal pools. There's so many egg masses in here. And obviously these have all hatched and are probably larval salamanders by now. But there's tons of newts in the water still. Like so many that I was just walking along and I was able to pick these two up. Having a fully aquatic adult stage means these guys probably stay in the water quite a bit longer than most salamanders, but I just thought it was cool how many of these guys are in here. You can see they just kind of chill out on the bottom. There's a last minute ring neck. Well, there's another on the way back to the car ring neck. This guy has a very, very narrow ring. We'll just leave him right there. It's weird how quiet the woods are after a spring freeze. I hear one woodpecker knocking on a tree and a passing airplane. Other than that, it's just silent. All right, guys, well, the habitat wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be over here. I've got a lot of thick stuff to navigate through. To get back to the car, and the sun is about to go behind the trees, so I'm gonna start making my way that direction with a haste. As to not end up miles from the car, when the sun goes down so it's been a pretty good day though considering how cold it was we had like five nights consecutively in the mid 20s which is ridiculous for you know the third week of march in georgia but you can't control the weather and i think we did pretty well considering so i'm gonna be happy with what we found and probably wrap this video up here unless i see something between here and the car thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all next time and hopefully by then things will be back to normal springtime.